Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today I'm back with some more Plunder Pirates gameplay. Today's episode 5, and today what we'll be doing is pretty much doing a few upgrades around his, our base, as well as doing a few raids. So first of all, guys, we're going to upgrade our academy. Uh, oh, we unlock a new pirate when we upgrade that. That's going to be really good, so let's get a, go ahead and upgrade that, because we have a ton of uh, Groog. And then on top of that, guys, we're going to probably do either another upgrade to our motor or maybe do an upgrade to our tavern because that is out. That's a long time, unfortunately. Uh, and to upgrade this, we're going to need to upgrade our pirate hall. So probably just going to go ahead for that motor. Oh, we do need a pirate hall level 4, unfortunately. Um, that's 40 minutes, so we might as well just do that too. So there we go. We have that upgrading. Uh, we probably won't. I'm just thinking about this. We're not going to go ahead and upgrade that. Can we upgrade this? Uh, guide hall level two. Um, uh, guide ship or guide hall. Uh, guide hall. Okay. So, right over here, guide hall. So we're gonna have to upgrade that. Okay. Um, yeah. So that is upgrading. We got our cannon upgraded, and we have our academy upgrading to unlock a new pirate. So that's gonna be really good. So now I'm gonna do a bit of raiding, guys. Get our um, gold and grug back up. Um. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty easy base. Don't want to get that. Want some good loot, but at the exact same time want to win, like I say, every possible raid. But then I usually find a base that's, like, really, really, uh, has a lot of loot and stuff like that. But we'll definitely not be able, we definitely won't be able to take it down. So, um, yeah, we're only at, like, one pirate points right now because we've been doing that for a while. We got up to about 100 and then we, we just said whatever we're not doing it anymore. Uh, that would that would actually be a pretty good base, pretty good loot. Um, okay, so this is really easy base. It's, it takes forever to find like a perfect base. You want a, like really good base. That's oh, this is not a bad base. Uh, trying to I'm trying to like hopefully find one of those really really bad bases or something that people don't like do a good job on. So yes, is uh he has a cannon right over there. So yeah, I'm gonna try to t take this base. Uh, doesn't have that much stuff, um, so what I'm going to do is send our troops over here, and then send these guys over here, exact same time, send these guys in, uh, then, oh my god, we got our, no, we got our troops fighting from back here, okay, so he actually has a lot of troops purposely here to defend against that, oh my god, that is not good, okay, so, we're losing a few troops, which is not good, uh, we got our tankers, which is awesome, um, uh, and hopefully those guys do something. Hopefully we don't lose these guys in the front over here. Uh, oh my God, we we just lost the raid pretty much. That was that was a uh, that was a really big mistake. Unfortunately, we should have looked around for that around the base and stuff like that. We just got nothing from that raid, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go on and train some troops up. We should have definitely um, looked around. I have to make sure I do that um, before I do other stuff. So uh, before I uh, raid the base and stuff like that. So we'll just go ahead and speed that up. So the process, um, this, this is actually not a bad, uh, base to raid. We might as well just do this base at least. Uh, so what we'll do is send these guys in over here and then send these troops in over here. Why don't they want to attack this? Unfortunately, they, they don't find attack in this. There we go. These troops, these troops want to attack, but of course that troop doesn't want to do anything. Uh, so it's got the bomb, unfortunately. Bomb did a little bit of damage, but it's still good. Uh, these troops are coming here and attacking that cannon over there. Uh, we are losing a few down here, but those troops should be coming back soon. So there we go. They're attacking the cannon, which is awesome. After we get rid of the cannon, we should be good for a while. Uh, so there we go. Those guys are attacking the gold storage. Uh, so hopefully they turn this way. There they go. They're turning that way. Perfect. Saved a pirate, which was awesome. And now these guys are going to come over here. I think they're going to go ahead and attack that pirate boat right over there. Get rid of that first, and then they'll probably go for that structure very, very soon after that. Um, so there we go. They're getting rid of the pirate ship. And once they get rid of that, they'll come over there. And then there's another structure over here that we have to worry about. Oh, and they also have a cannon over here. Oh, I did not see that. I really did not see that. So we'll activate this ability over here. Um... Make those troops do a little bit of damage. Uh, and then there they go. It's attacking that structure, which is good. So they should be able to get rid of that structure, hopefully. Uh, there they go. They're doing their thing. Um, that one troop's attacking, which is good. So it should be 
it should be gone in a second. Uh, the rest of the troops are attacking this structure over here, the pirate hall. So that should be good. Uh, that should be gone soon. Um, so we did get all their loot, which was good, but we did not get any of their uh, grug, uh, their goog, which is not good. Um, so there they go. They're attacking that, which is good. Uh, and then we just gotta let, wait for them to do that. Now they're attacking this over here, which is good. So once they get rid of um, pretty much this structure over here, it should be good. And then they're just attacking that. Uh, I love how they actually have the pirate ship go underwater. That is actually really cool. Uh, I think they added that new in the game or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so they're getting rid of that structure. After they get rid of that structure, it should be good. Uh, oh, we lost one pirate and four. Uh, we lost one of our uh, tank troops there, but that is alright. They're attacking that structure. I don't know if they're going to be able to destroy that, unfortunately, which is not good. Um, but yeah, so we got these troops over here attacking, uh, sorry, our big tank troop attacking this. Don't think it's really going to do much. Uh, it's going to wait for the game to, uh, finish. I don't believe we're going to be able to get that still, unfortunately. If we just had a few more troops go this way, we probably would have been able to get that, which would have been really, really good. Uh, but other than that, unfortunately, no, uh, we just lost it. Um... Just getting defeat so many times, unfortunately, which is not good. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and train up some more troops again. Uh, get our same combo over and over. I find this to be a really uh, good combo. Actually, it's, it's like it's pretty cheap, and it's also uh, just really good in general for uh, raiding and stuff like that because it has tank at the exact same time. It has people to get all the loot and stuff like that. So here we go. This is a little bit of hard base to raid. Uh, it doesn't have that much structures over on this side, but it still has a lot, so I'm not going to go ahead and risk that base, uh, because I do want to do a win, um, so yeah, we're just going to look over here, so yeah, we can't get that base, we can, but it's not worth it, um, same with that one or this one. There's just there's just not enough gold. We need more gold and we need more Grug. Uh so yeah, here we go. This one's really, really protected, unfortunately. Uh to the point that I don't I no way I'm gonna be able to get this. Um so yeah, they're just going in and attacking over there. Um oh, sorry, that base is just really uh protected on the side, so it's gonna be too hard to attack it over there. Uh so we're just gonna go next, next, next. Really easy base to destroy. Easy. Easy. This could actually not be a bad base. Uh, get a motor there. Uh, just looking around here before I risk the attack. So it's, it's pretty good. We can do this base, actually. The one time I think we can actually do a base. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fight this over here. First of all, what I want to do is send in this troop over here. I want to see what it will do. Oh, first of all, we're going to have to send in this troop over here. So it can actually do something. And we have those guys attacking from there. So we'll just let our tanks troops come over here. At the exact same time, we'll send some troops in here in the back to fight this. Uh, activate their ability. Uh, so then they'll just go ahead and go around really quickly. And if they do go around, yeah, we got some tanks coming this way, which is good. Um, a lot of them went around that way, unfortunately, so now we have nothing to protect these troops. So there they go. They're actually going around, which is good, so they'll be able to attack that. Um, so hopefully they just get rid of that, and after they do, that should help us out a lot. Unfortunately, we just lost all our troops in that one motor attack. The one time the motor attack is, like, not good. We should have sent in our tank troops in first to tank it. And then, uh, after that, we should have sent in our other troops. But it's just, it's really annoying to do these raids, unfortunately. It's just, it's really, really annoying. Uh, and how are you supposed to get your pirate ship out of there? That's just really funny. And they put this, um, uh, what's it called? This, uh, troop over here. That's actually pretty smart. Like, uh, if somebody sends troops over there. But other than that, it wouldn't be a smart move. Uh, so yeah, our troops is getting rid of that. We only got 5%. We barely even got any of their stuff. We only got a little of their grug, uh, their grug, which is, um, uh, not that good. Uh, unfortunately, oh, we just we almost got this base. We had we we could have almost done it. Unfortunately, but like it's just it's really difficult base to actually raid. Um, all these bases like I'm aiming too high when I do my raids. I should start aiming to like the middle point where I actually know I can actually do the base. Um, and then that would actually be really really good. So we'll probably just lose this guy over here. Unfortunately, um, uh, so there they go. He's going in, and yeah, he's pretty much done. He's done. 
He's attacking that structure, but he he's just he's done that. Ken is just gonna take him down. It doesn't even do that much. So I'm like, look at that uh, tankness. He can just tank anything, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna lose the raid, unfortunately. And there we go. So yeah, uh -huh, unfortunately, we're just not doing that well in these raids, which is not good. So that is pretty much gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to apply to the Jim Walton Craft Network for a 70% revenue share, guys. And make sure to click the link in the description to uh, Cash Wraps, which is a simple system, which you, which pretty much what you do, guys, is download apps. Uh, when you download those apps, you get points. With those points, you can trade them in for pretty much gift cards. And then uh, you use those gift cards to get yourself uh, pretty much gems in Classic Clans, gems in uh, Plunder Pirates, diamonds in Boom Beach, or diamonds in Heyday, or pretty much anything you want to use your iTunes gift cards for. Link will be in the description. But that's to make guys. Uh, this has been Jim Wevin, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.